What the hell are you doing here? Hello, Mr. Guthrie. No. I think I recognize her. It's over here. What is it that is so precious to you? This is to sell, is it not? And what's that going to cost me? Half. <laughs> she tries a fair but hard bargain. Now tell me what it is. It's a recipe for uh, trouble. I don't know. I think that might be the truth. I think I know her from Slash. You are not going to throw your support behind Singleton. It's going to try and win hearts and minds with money. As of now, Singleton is only up eight votes. Nope. You and your men. You could turn it. Oh, nine. So. Captain's fate is in our hands. In your hands. Your men vote with you. And how much are you willing to pay for those votes? Nothing. <laughs> Spent everything I had getting this far. And you will pay us, obviously. From the very first price we take. Okay, future earnings. I assume that went without saying. Okay, he's done. He's done well so far. Is there a counter movement? I'd hoped to toast your coronation as captain of the wars. But alas, I'm not so sure that's where we're headed. What do you know? Spill. What do we? Who do we have to kill? He's going back for book three. One of the top agents in the Americas, responsible for the security of one particular ship. A ship with a cargo so rich, the King of Spain is very anxious to see it launched. Him? They advised him that if he couldn't arrange for an escort, he should plot a course for the ship unknown to anyone but our captain, and consider that route to be a state secret. I think that's, um, the captain's... So he'll know it's it's been tampered with the feather the ship in question Arca de Lima largest Spanish treasure galleon in the Americas that's the prize total cargo in excess of five million dollars yeah that's a bit of a step up does he think it's a fiction and how exactly did you come to hear a spy in my employ in a page was torn from the log with the Urca's course and schedule written on it but I need help Someone with expert knowledge of Spanish operations. It's the key to finding it. I need you to make an introduction. So in a way, it's like a treasure map. Absolutely not. Do you have any idea how heavily armed that ship is? The risk is all mine. I have a future planned I'm not so willing to throw away. I will have that name. Ooh. Uh, <coughs> Billy? Billy. You're supposed to hold him back. The name, please. Make a choice, Billy. Someone approaches. Captain Hume of His Majesty's ship, the Scarborough. Oh, this is awkward. Else, what sort of business you're conducting with these men? Sugar merchants. They yeah. From the colonies. <laughs> with business. What Excuse type me. of sugar? Do you know what the gossip is in London about you? The gossip <laughs> is that you make your profits selling ill-gotten cargo. Take them into custody, all of them. Time to die. Time to shoot them. Good job, Billy. Now you're in it. Do you want to be in it all the way, or...? Do what's best for my family. I want what's best for your family. I fear for their safety. That dude's not gonna do well. She, you know she's good, because she has the hat. No. I know this guy from Captain things. Vane. But I am on one boat. Most my friend is safe. He said one word before he died. Vane. I know what you're thinking. Must be a fam famous pirate. And we lose that fight. Fuck that. Eleanor. Eleanor! Yes. Well, we all have our roles to play. These are schemers. Now, where does the power lie here? Okay. Okay. She can take it. It's just a greeting. You didn't give her the full whack. Do you like to tell me what that was all about? Do they have history? Flint, his captaincy, I had an interest. When I tell him you put our biggest earner out of business, he'll make... remind you that Flint hasn't been your biggest earner in quite some time. Your father will always choose profits over daughters. 
That sounds about right. And if you ever challenge me again in front of my crew, I might just forget that I loved you once. See, they do have history. That makes sense. That's why she felt comfortable punching him. Because she had that history of trust between them. So, that, that sounds weird, but makes sense to me. And this, this unholy alliance, how, how's this going to end? Excuse me. Are they? No. When the sea grows rough, you come to Max. Yeah, pretty much. Max is your harbor. Are we allowed to ship things in black sails? Is that too much of a pun? Meanwhile, back at these two. Just what are you doing? Just taking some. Trinkets. I don't believe any of the men have ever met him face to face. If you're going to pretend that isn't Richard Guthrie. <laughs> Soon would have spent months lying to us about what it is we're hunting out here. And now when it's clear it can't possibly succeed, you want to keep lying. And maybe Singleton is right, maybe it's time we made a change. Don't say that, Billy. Think carefully. When I say there's a war coming, I don't mean with the Scarborough. Civilization is coming. And it means to exterminate us. Yeah, they have no fear to survive. Role in a world like that. Now, we still have a little matter of this guy to deal council. with. Mr. Singleton has called for a vote. I need a minute. Maybe you can fight him for it. Remember what Billy said that the crew thinks he's weak. What happened with Richard? You can show him he's strong. <laughs> oh Jesus! How do we how do we handle this? He has to get it out of his system before he speaks to them. Ooh. See, feather, he knows. What's it gonna be, Captain? The truth? And is the other guy gonna survive? The most important element of a healthy ship is trust. For the past few months, you and I have been on the trail of a prize so rich it could upset the very nature of our world. I felt it necessary to keep it secret. I didn't trust you, but it would appear that my concerns about secrecy had merit. Someone on this crew discovered my plans <coughs> and tore from this log the very page necessary to discover that prize. Oh, he's going to pin it on that guy. Himself your captain. What? I don't know what he's talking about. The accused has a choice. He can submit to a trial with who is judge. A fucking way. Fight. Then swords. Swords. It's the way it should be. Or perhaps it's better this way. I have to imagine the captain is better. He had more training. The other guy will be more kind of brutal. The captain will have cunning and guile. Here's me talking like I have any idea. About anything. It's gonna hurt in the morning. Come on, Captain. Stick him. Bludgeoned with a cannonball. <laughs> it's so brutal. I love it. He's taking out his frustration on him. And now he's shown he's not weak in front of the crew. And this guy's like, I've got the page. Ooh. Okay, Billy. Play along. It's blank. <laughs> it's here! It's the, the final test. See if you can trust Billy to, to be his man. It's a stolen page. Friends. Brothers, the prize that you and I have been pursuing. That was risky. It's Laka de Lima. A prize of almost unimaginable value. And we will succeed. No matter the cost. I will see that prize is yours. I'm gonna make you the princess of the new world. <laughs> He's got the back on side. Can I help you? Perhaps we can help each other. 
I think I have something you might want to buy. Everybody's everybody's out for themselves in this show. That's why it's it's good. That was episode one. First episode of Black Sails. Very strong opener. Uh, so many people introduced in this show and I, I think I have like two or three names so I won't be able to name them but by the time the second episode comes along I'll, I'll have edited this episode and I'll have picked up a lot more so uh, I like the feel of the show it's good to have something bright and colourful and whimsical and uh, it's a refreshing change um, I'm I'm all on board for pirate hijinks on the high seas, and people double crossing each other and second guessing each other and being sneaky and uh, <laughs> trying to get some treasure and booty and other kinds of booty when they hit the shore. Uh, and they've built up like off off boat characters as well, so it's going to be an ensemble thing and lots of people with lots of different motivations. And I'm curious to see where it's all going to go. So that's the first episode. A bit brief at the end because I don't have the names to go through them. Um, but yeah, I'll get into that more in episode two. So thanks for tuning in as always, and I'll see you on the high seas for episode two in a, I don't know, in a week, in a, in a while, whenever I see the next episode. So, until then, see ya! <laughs>